Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to change the size of your canvas. So this is basically your workspace. So there are two things that we need to consider first. So one is are we going to increase the size of the canvas or are we going to decrease the size of the canvas? So if we're going to increase then head to the image, go to canvas and then here you have your current width and your current height. Let's say I want to set this to 4 and I want to set this to 3. So this way we're increasing the size. And if I hit OK, we can see there is like a... It obviously increased, but as we can see the... Like, it's not equal frame, right? There's more to the top from to the picture than is to the side of the picture. So what do we want to do in this case is let's say we want an equal frame. So I'm just gonna hit Control Z in this case, and I'm gonna go back to Image. I'm gonna go back to Canvas Size, and there is a little box called Relative, which basically sets everything to zero. And if I set this to one and this to one, both on the top, on the both sides and on the bottom the distance from the picture and the canvas size is going to be one inch and if i click hit ok obviously you can also have to anchor to the middle otherwise this will not produce the same effect so as we can take a look there is one inch to the side and one inch to the bottom and top which is perfect this is exactly what we wanted so if you're trying to create a frame that would be the case however now i'm going to control z again and now I'm going to focus on the next thing, how to decrease the size of the canvas. Well, there are two ways. So obviously the first one is if you go to the canvas size again, and if you unclick this relative, uh, we can actually, you know, if currently is 3.3 .3 and 2 by 2, we're going to go below this number. So we're going to put something like 2.5 and currently it's 2.2, .2, we're going to go 1.5. And if I hit OK, it's going to say that the new canvas is smaller than the current which means it's going to shrink and the anchor it's going to shrink from the anchor point so this is from the middle and if i click proceed this is this is the result we're going to get so from the middle it shrink to the inside okay now i'm going to control z one more time and there is another way of doing it which is sort of like a more practical way on the left side of your menus menu tools you have crop tool you can click on that and you can just drag whatever you want to say for example i want to have doors in my picture but i don't want to have this like the red sort of like wall on the sides it just you know i don't want that plus i don't want to have that you know cemented uh you know ground so i'll try to crop as much as possible and you can only crop um uh, rectangles unfortunately there is no other option um so that's that and once you have done that click on the this sort of like a tick tool tick icon and confirm that and that's that so it does this exactly the same thing as the canvas size um, however you can modify a little bit more and that's about it uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, i'll see you next time guys bye